Yeah, this next one we have is from Nunu on YouTube. Okay, what are the best browns, Drew? And then another one to follow up if you want to lump them together. Alexandra on YouTube says, autumn is here and brown is a great fall color. So please tell us, Drew. And I just realized these are not actually email questions. So we broke our own theme, Drew. We did, we did, but they're double Whoops. questions, so. Drew made an exception for himself on this one because it had brown as the topic. I think that's what's going on. So can't really blame him. Anyway, go ahead, Drew, you're the expert. This, this, is, this is actually has come up a few different times. So I figured I would go ahead and sure. answer some of my favorite browns. So we're gonna start off with brown inks. So. I'm going to tier these in order of just kind of like what they do for you. So Noodler's Golden Brown, which I've been writing with a lot recently, is kind of like I'm on the honeymoon phase with it. So this one, if you are if you want a shading brown, Noodler's Golden Brown is phenomenal and it'll give you a nice fun fall vibe. And honestly, the one I go to the most over the years and years and years is plain old Noodler's Brown. It's not a fun name to write though, so I generally tend to go with either Noodler's Beaver or Noodler's Walnut because I just like writing the names of my inks a lot and I write brown enough because it's my last name, so I wanted something different. Those but are Noodler's so Brown, those are objectively, brown is solid. Those are objectively very solid browns though. Absolutely. I can, I can say that. Being unbiased myself, I, I think they're yeah. very it's good. It's hard colors. to deviate from Noodler's. Noodler's makes good browns. Um, um, I've mm -hmm. been a big fan of L. Lawrence for a while, which is a dark green, but Noodler's Burma Road Brown is actually a very similar ink, but leaning a little bit more toward brown. And it's a good alternative that I've found because there was a while where L. Lawrence was not available and I went with uh, BRB. And then Rome Burning is a light brown, but it is a funky, fun ink to write with. It dries really flat and weird, especially if you're using a broad nib or a stub nib. It's a fun, very strange ink that I recommend you giving a try just because it's unconventional. It also changes color in water, so that's something that not every ink does. And then recently when we began carrying Private Reserve again, I noticed that their ebony brown was mm -hmm. actually a very, very rich, very dark brown. So if you're looking for a brown that is also very professional, if you're in a business setting, you want something really close to black, but far enough away from black that you're gonna know that it's something special, PR, um, PR ebony brown. Mm, nice. And then another new ink that came my way was Diplomat Caramel, which is a light brown, as you can imagine. Mm. But I would say that that falls under the sleeper hit category of this list because mm. I thought it was really nice. It doesn't shade quite as well as Noodler's Golden Brown, but it is a lighter brown, so it does have some of that property going on. And honestly, I, I really like the name. I'm surprised more browns aren't named Caramel. And finally, rounding out my ink list is Jacquerbon Carub de Chipre. That one is my shimmer brown entry for this list because why not add some shimmer? And the Jacquerbon series of inks that have shimmer in them are not going to be as high maintenance as a lot of other shimmer inks are. So you have that going for you too. This is actually probably the least shimmery of the 1670 series i think i recently swabbed them all up and this one yeah. isn't quite as audacious as some of the other ones too yeah probably and i think the the color of the shimmer is more closely matched to the color of the ink so it doesn't contrast quite as much so maybe a little bit of visual trickery there i don't know if the actual density of the shimmer is different you might but be I right think, i think it stands out maybe a little less than like a you know emerald of chavor or a, you know blue ocean or something like that Absolutely. And then moving on to brown pens, because we have brown pens too. 823 is obviously the best. This is by far the most popular, most well-purchased and well-regarded brown pen oh, yeah. on the modern fountain pen market today. No disputing that. So, And it also, even if you're not a fan of gold furniture on your pens, this amber brown really brings out the gold. So beautiful pairing there. But moving off from that, the Sailor Compass, only 30 bucks for that wonderful pen, is a great way to get an affordable brown pen in your collection. So I have to mention that one. It also comes with a brown converter making the list as the only brown converter. So extra points for that. And then the Lamy LX Marron is a beautiful, beautiful brown pen. The Lamy All-Star Coffee Brown has been discontinued for a while, but honestly, the Marron is pretty darn nice because you have that nice, you know, uh, plated clip and the plated finial. It just the whole, whole complete package on that one. And then stepping up in price, you've got the Peniter Arco with gold trim, previously only available with silver trim. They recently added the gold. And like I said, with the 823, 
the gold and the brown, that earth tone lushness, just mm, it's a delightful, delightful thing. And the quill nib on that pen is choice. So I recommend at least looking at it because it's so pretty. And then finally, the ST DuPont Line D in Atelier Brown. This pen is only available if you already happen to be the owner of a Scotch decanter sitting next to a leather chair. Um, and uh, if you don't have one of those, you have to buy one of those before you buy this pen. It's kind of a prerequisite. It is but, a requirement, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you look at this pen, you'll know why. Like, it just looks like it needs to be in a wood paneled library with a leather chair. Like, it is. It's a nice looking pen. It actually feels really well too. It's just like the Space Odyssey pen that Brian mentioned earlier. It's got that nice lacquer and it's it's one of, uh, I think it's the most beautiful uh, ST DuPont pen we have, but I am mm -hmm. biased and that's okay. I'm not trying yeah. to pretend I'm not. You need to be somewhere in the vicinity of mahogany to be able to fully enjoy that, I think. Vicinity of mahogany. Yeah, yes, sir. exactly. But um, that's my list. I am absolutely no expert, but I like brown things and my last name is Brown, and that gives me zero credibility. Yeah, I don't know. The end. You're you're not a Doctor Brown like Stephen Brown is. No, so. I'm not. Maybe maybe that this is my my attempt. I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm I'm clearly growing out my my beard to look more like Stephen Brown. You know. You do like tweed. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah. We'll see. Um, it's hard for me to build upon that because you have a very very solid list i have a couple of inks that i thought of kind of as you were talking mm. um die mine ancient copper oh it's not, beautiful it's not a shimmer ink i think it's it's it might be our most popular brown ink it's way up there if it's not um but uh it's it's again not not a true like chocolate brown um and it doesn't have shimmer to it but it's got a little something in there it's got a little something special so kind of a coppery brown but uh, very very popular in color that one definitely you get uh your your you know barnacle barney barney will show up on that one for sure um a couple of really good chocolate brown colors as you were talking i thought of diamine chocolate brown and pr chocolate mm -hmm. that's pr chocolate with no chocolate on the end yeah <laughs> um both really good they're very very similar colors um but a nice dark like hershey brown color uh, i dig that um uh, hope we don't get a strike on that no no uh copyright strike because we referenced a trademark anyway uh and then noodlers 41 brown i know you've been a fan of that one in the past you didn't mention it so i thought i'd bring it i up. know That's, i know there's just so many good I, browns i mean you can't I had, say I everything had, i thought about it i had so many noodlers browns on there already yeah yeah and then why not throw stephen brown in there he's got you know the sbre brown that's a great does. Ink too yeah. we don't sell Ak it but ackerman yeah. ackerman makes that absolutely absolutely i bought, I bought um, one came came to me from uh from uh, uh the other ones but in my opinion, the best brown is a Drew Brown. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 